This is the Hovel. Hovel? Hovel. Hovel. If you're thinking that it looks a little bit like a miniature woodworking plane, that's because it's a miniature woodworking plane. But this plane isn't just for working any wood. It's for sharpening wood case pencils. And oh boy, does it sharpen wood case pencils. Hovel is a Norwegian word for plane. The woodworking one, not the flying one. It's a 90 gram block of solid machine brass that comes in this lovely box with 10 replacement blades. It's wickedly sharp, and even though it takes a little bit of setup and a tiny amount of finesse to use, it's an extremely rewarding sharpening experience. It's made by Brahman Design and costs about 50 pounds for the hovel and 20 pounds for the optional but very lovely wooden base. A replacement pack of 10 blades comes in at a very reasonable £2.99. Full disclosure, I was sent this model for free by Brahman Design to try out. They did not pay me for a review nor ask me to be nice. My thoughts and this video are 100% my own. This pencil plane comes to me at a very interesting time. My current favourite sharpener is almost exactly the opposite, diametrically opposed to the Hovel. It's this cheap Indian Apsara sharpener. It's a very sharp, plastic, long point sharpener and it comes in a pack of about 20 for four pounds, sent directly from India. Now, the Hovel is built to last a lifetime. The Apsara is literally disposable. When the long point blade becomes dull on the Apsara, which takes a few months or weeks depending on usage, it's easier to bin it and crack open a new one than try and do anything to salvage it. Back to the Hovel. Hovel. Havel. Hovel. Aesthetically, it is faultless. Well, apart from all the fingerprints, but it's brass, so what are you going to do? It's a shining ellipse of brass that immediately catches your attention when you slide open the sturdy box. It's well packaged and the extra blades are a very welcome inclusion. Setting up takes just a little bit of care, especially to ensure that the blade is in the correct orientation. Get it right and you'll be curling off long strands of pencil wood with ease. Get it wrong and it'll feel like you're trying to sharpen a pencil with a blunt butter knife. You'll know it if you've done it wrong. If you're not sure how to set it up, they also have a full video and instructions included with every single one. It's really not that hard, it's just a little tiny bit of work to make sure it's just the right cutting edge. Provided that you take your time, you have a lot of precision control over how the Hovel interacts with the pencil. You start to get a feel for it, you can sense the differences in the grain and the lacquer in the direction of the wood. You can cut short and thin slices like a mandolin slicer cutting carrots, honing the perfect graphite point from the wooden blank or long gliding sweeps that arc fine curls of wood around and over the side of the hovel's shining brass body. It leaves a really smooth surface, but stops and mistakes can leave a few rough divots, but these are pretty easily trimmed or smoothed with subsequent passes. The first thing I did when I got the hovel was sharpen a ridiculously sharp point onto one of the Amazon Basics pencils from last episode. The second thing I did was shave an Amazon Basics pencil totally bare. It just looks like a giant IKEA pencil. It's a totally different way of sharpening a pencil, and it's fantastically good fun. No other sharpener will let you turn all seven inches of the pencil into the point. This pencil is the point. My other favourite point is the Concord, as I like to call it, which is like a little bit of concave, a little bit rounded, but nice and long and relatively short graphite. It's, it's very nice to write with. The optional wooden base is an excellent place to store the Hovel, especially since by design the blade sticks out below the bottom of the brass body. And when I say it's sharp, I mean it is really sharp. There's also a function to sharpen the Hovel while it's in the wooden base. In practice, I find this a little harder to master as I had less feel for the blade. But like with anything, a little bit of practice and you'll get it. The other thing to notice is you should probably flip that over when you're done, because leaving it like that, there's a very sharp blade kind of just sticking upright in your desk. So maybe, maybe just flip that back over. Noah from Ramen Design also said that typically a blade should last around a month of what he called very heavy use. Though this obviously will vary with technique and the pencils you use, Interestingly, the Hovel is also designed to take most other sharpener blades of a similar size, so you could actually cannibalize blades from other sharpeners in a pinch. 
So is this thing the only way to sharpen pencils? No. Is it a more sustainable, focused, and pleasant way to do it? 100%. Its price tag will deter some people, and the slow, methodical approach needed will deter others. But if you take your time, learn how to read the wood, it's an incredibly rewarding experience. The thing comes with spares, it's blade agnostic, and it's backed by a lifetime guarantee. No, it's probably not wholly practical for every single coffee shop journal or shared office copywriting, but it is a wonderfully solid piece of engineering that harkens back to older, more civilized and slower paced time. I think it's perfectly suited to a home office or writing room, and it really makes me slow down and enjoy sharpening my pencil each and every time I do it. And that is a wonderful thing. Thank you so much for watching. Videos like this are supported entirely by wonderful folks who back the Wooden Graphite Patreon. For just $2 a month, you can get access to behind the scenes content, see all the videos early, and help shape the content you want to see. So if you like these videos, and you can spare a few bucks, I'd love to have you on board.